As we embraced the beginning of a new decade, we thought we'd look back at some facts about history that might just mess with your entire perception of time. Cleopatra lived closer in time to the invention of Snapchat than to the construction of the Great Pyramid at Giza. Cleopatra lived from 69 to 30 BC, when she killed herself following the defeat of her forces against Octavian, the future first emperor of Rome. The Great Pyramid of Giza was built for the fourth dynasty pharaoh, Khufu, and was completed around 2560 BCE, which means that there was 2500 years between Cleopatra and the pyramids, but only 2050 years between her death and the year 2020. And did you know that when the pyramids were built, woolly mammoths were still walking the earth? We usually think of woolly mammoths as purely Ice Age creatures. And while most did indeed die out 10,000 years ago, one tiny population endured on isolated Wrangell Island until 1650 BCE. So not only was there a time when the planet had both pyramids and woolly mammoths, that period of time lasted for a thousand years. The Eiffel Tower was inaugurated in 1889 to serve as the entrance for the World's Fair. This just so happened to be the same year that Nintendo was founded. Nintendo started out as a playing card company, making handmade Hanafuda playing cards on mulberry tree bark, a card game that became very popular in Japan when all foreign playing cards were outlawed in 1633. 1889 was also the year that Van Gogh painted his masterpiece Starry Night. And while all this was happening in France and Japan, Jack the Ripper was still on the loose and terrorizing London, England. Charlie Chaplin was born in 1889 and died 88 years later in Switzerland in 1977, the very same year that Apple Computers was incorporated. In 1904, the first train of the New York subway system departed from City Hall Station and Rolls-Royce released its first car. Both Dr. Seuss and Salvador Dali were born in 1904 as well. Salvador Dali would go on to live until 1989, the same year that Daniel Radcliffe, Taylor Swift, and Jason Derulo were born. Sliced bread has only been around for less than a century. The first automatically sliced commercial loaves were produced on July 6, 1928. Betty White was born January 17, 1922, which makes Betty White older than sliced bread. Harriet the tortoise was lovingly known as Darwin's tortoise. She was reportedly collected by Charles Darwin during his 1835 visit to the Galapagos Islands as part of his round-the-world survey expedition. Harriet was only 11 inches long at the time, giving her an age of around 5 years old. In 1841, John Clements Wickham, captain of the HMS Beagle, retired from the Royal Navy and moved to Australia. He brought with him three tortoises, Harriet being one of them. In 1987, Harriet moved to the Queensland Reptile Park, which was owned by Steve Irwin's parents, Bob and Lynn. It was later renamed Australia Zoo when Steve and Terry Irwin took over in 1990 and she remained there until she passed away from heart failure in 2006 at the age of 175. Established in 1636, Harvard is the oldest institution of higher education in the United States. In its first years, it had no calculus classes because it didn't exist yet. The invention of calculus would come in the late 17th century. Also, European physicist, mathematician, and astronomer Galileo was still alive during Harvard's early years. He died in 1642. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And come back soon for more Factables.